Hello, you're live with Archie Luxury. Live with Archie Luxury. And apologies to the audience there. I pressed the wrong fucking button. I pressed the wrong fucking button. Sorry about that, fuckers. Yes, yes. It's. Uh, I was just talking about... I've got a few interesting videos. Hello, John. Do yeah, we hello, you reading? Uh, yes, yes, mm. see you later, man. Sorry yep. about that, John. I lost you there. Sorry about that. No drama, mate. We got him back. Oh, we're back on. Thank. We got him back on. Yeah, yeah, we're back on. Okay, beautiful, John. That's good. Uh, uh, I'm just going to try something now. I'm going to try something. I'm going to see if I can share the screen. Okay, here we go, John. I'm going to try something new. Okay. 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 Let, let's see if we can get this to work. I'm trying to do something revolutionary. Okay. Okay. Now it's blank, but just just bear with me, big boy. There. We'll get there. Okay. No, you can't see anything, can you? No. No. Okay, no worries, fuckers. No worries. I'll, um, coast, it is fucking filthy, absolutely filthy. And the worst thing is, there is no Christmas decorations. Is there? It's very, very grim. It's interesting you should say that. I went to a local shopping centre down my mum's way the other day close to town i didn't notice any um uh christmas decorations for the first time in years and up locally in Fertry gully there doesn't seem to be too many around and not much i oh, know it might be a bit of a stretch on the local councils mm. might be a bit too much for the you know councils to put up you know chrissy decks now May maybe not be, it's because you know, they don't want to they don't want to offend any minority groups yeah, that that is most probably more like the story. Exactly. I'm just having some exactly. sake, John. Sake, good, good bit of sake there. Do you have it warm or, or room temperature? Actually, I have this cold from the fridge. Yeah. Try normally, you have it. You have it. You have it warm or cold. That's normally how you have it. You don't have it room temperature. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like warm personally. Anyhow, John, I, I just wanted to say to you, John, it's um, the gearing up for next year. And I tell you now, John, I'm not going, I'm going to actually who, who I do live shows with in future. Okay. All right. No drama. Thank you. I've been burnt, John. I've been burnt. I've had some people I did those with who've really let me down. And I think, John, it's only going to be me and you on the bandwagon. Okay, you're the boss. You're calling the shots. Your channel. You're the boss. Yeah, I, I don't know. What 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 I don't understand is, John, is why the Archie Luxury Channel isn't going to the next level of success. In that's why I don't just talk about watches. Yeah. I do the comic. I do the tie videos. I do. I do all sorts of shit. Why haven't I got the next level? What do you think, Jono? Why isn't it more popular? Oh, it's a sixty-four dollar question, isn't it? Some Actually, John, just before that, I go on, I, I I got an ice cream. I went and got an ice cream yesterday at the coast. Me, he says, "Do you do YouTube?" He recognised me from YouTube. Yeah, right, eh? Yeah. An extra scoop. He said, "You you got a lot of watch." He said, "You got a lot of watch videos, don't you?" And you swear a lot. Yeah, right. Eh? Did you give me an extra scoop on your ice cream, did he, or? Yeah. Ask for oh, I had a discount voucher anyhow. Don't off pick. I gave him an autograph pick. Oh, very good. Very good. You give you an extra scoop of ice cream for that? Or? Young fella, young fella. But John, what do you think? Why isn't it, I got to get to the next level? What do I need to do to get to the next level of success? Yeah, well, don't start advocating shit of brands. That doesn't seem to be the way to go, does it? Um. Oh no, that's that's a sixty-four dollar question. Yeah, you know, like, you know, how do you become successful on YouTube? You know, a very very tricky question. You know, if uh, 
What is successful yeah, on really. YouTube? What is successful? What is successful? Tell me that. What is successful? Well, I think in your situation, if you're making an income from it uh, and survive, come. Um, you know, that, that's a successful channel. It has to be, doesn't it? Mm. You know, if, if you're getting a, if that's what you want, if you want to monetize and make an income out, you know, from it, you know, which, which you do, and you know, some others, you know, you know, wish to make a, you know, um, an income from it, you know, it can be quite substantial. Yeah, you know, like um, who's it that? Who's I'm it? a bit. Tweety I just, yeah? Tweety Pie. Tweety, Tweety Pie. Tweety pie. Hey, I was looking at he the makes, top ten. Um, he's the number one YouTuber. He's the number one YouTuber. He makes what fifteen mil a year or something. Mm. Fifteen or sixteen million a year. Yeah, yeah, that's right, John. It's a massive amount of advertising, isn't it? Mm. Massive amount of advertising. He wouldn't exist. If it wasn't for YouTube, and then there's KC Neistat. KC Neistat does very well. Yeah, they, they. I, I saw a couple of the below lower end ones, five mil or something. And there, there's a couple of ladies on there, and uh, but like, what the magic bullet is? You know, Jesus, that's that's a question I don't think I could answer. What's the magic bullet like the trick? Like what they what they do is when you get a hundred thousand subscribers, they send you a Google Play button in the mail to put it on your wall. See, I'm not even anywhere near a hundred thousand. I got thirty three thousand subscribers. I'm nowhere near getting a fucking basic Google Play button. Google Play button, just the picture, is it? No, it's a plastic thing you put on the wall. It's an achievement to say you got a hundred thousand subscribers. Oh, you're right, eh? Oh yeah, well. See, I'm nowhere yes, near that. I'm nowhere near life. getting one of those. Yeah, well, I'm, someone was saying before, you know, like, I, I, what was the gentleman's name? Was it Mr. Rothschild? I was saying that um, um, you're, we all know that the essential core of the Archie Luxury Channel is, is watches. And and sure. the, I think the majority of your viewers do do come to your channel, you know, to to look for watch advice. You know, uh, maybe getting you know, bored with the you know you know the repetition. You know, we're speaking about the same regular watches, but you've got them in your hands. You can show them. But maybe if you um, were to put vids up about you know a, a lot of varying, you know, high end watches, not just the ones you own. You know, maybe put a request out in Brisbane. You know, up in Brisbane, you know, want their watches reviewed. Yeah, you know, it's, it's I, I, I find, John, John, I'm going to tell you the truth. I find if I don't own them, I don't feel passionate about them. That's a fair enough statement. That's why everyone becomes It's only when I own them. It's, it's when I own them that I really care for them and, and think about them. Well, that's what, where I imagine a lot of the dissension arises, doesn't it? You know, on, mm. on YouTube where uh, you say, oh, you know, that's a shitter or that's not a shitter and, you know, I own that watch. You know, you know they sort of take offence to it. Mm -hmm. You know, like, they say, oh, should I tell you my watch? You know, do you like my watch? Nah, it's a piece of shit, you say. You, know, well, you, you don't say that to people's faces, do you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. You, cool. you don't say that to people's faces, John. I got no shame. Hell have no, sh hell have no fury like a. Uh... Like Archie Luxury scored. Exactly. Yeah, that, so, that could be an alternative, but yeah, you know, like I was listening to another live show today, and I were talking about about watches and uh, and you know I was thinking like. There's dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of brands of watches. In those brands of watches, you've got all various, you know, you've got new edition watches that come out every year. They've got the standard stock watches. You know, like how, how many lines of watch would Rolex have? 
How many lines do they produce of watches? Yeah, yeah, I understand there. Um, it's pretty tough. Um, yeah, John, hello, John. Yes, mate, yes, go ahead. Uh, you know, this is the thing, you know, these, I, I was trying to sell a Speedmaster for um, three and a half thousand. Three and a half thousand big ones Aussie. Yeah, yeah. You know, I can't get another one to sell at the same price. Yeah, the top comment was, um, I think, on a previous live show, I think, in the, or on the comments of your channel. Uh, people are looking for bad. I'll tell you something that's happened, John. Just had a. Let me show yeah. you something. Screen, tell you happened with the Archie Luxury watches for sale, and I tell you what I've got for sale at the moment. I've got the uh, the, the ladies Oyster Perpetual. That's that white dial one. That you know that. I missed that. You you're cutting out. Yes, yeah, the one that's similar to your wife's with no date, the face. Yes. You know. yes, I've got that yes, on yes. for four. I got I got a blue one. This one actually came in as a as a gift. Someone, the guy ended up giving oh, yeah. it. It's a long story. I don't want to go into it, but uh, basically, I, I want to sell that one. Right. I got a Cartier tank. Right. And I've got a uh, two tone Audemars Piguet. That's sort of what yeah. I've got at the moment there in stock. And uh, so I've, I, I, I sold the two Speedmasters. They've gone. I just Sorry? Both of the Speedmaster the gone. Well, I had a Mark II, you know, the 1970s one, yes. the Mark II. Yeah. And, and the other Speedmaster went. Yeah. You sold the other Speedy, so you don't have a Speedy now. No, no, I got one. I've always got one. I've got my Speedy. That's not for sale. But I had two of that same model. Oh, I had right. three. I had three. Because I had okay, a Mark I'm II. Yes. So um, yeah, it's it's been a bit it's been a bit hard, John. It has been a bit hard. I got to be honest with you. Look, I got I I actually I enjoy producing content. Yeah, this is a, this is a good easy way to do it. Doing a live show, you know, that's the yeah. easy way to produce comment content. I, I wanted so to talk to you. You know, you got to be careful. You get people who befriend yes. you on YouTube, and some of them can turn out to be cunts. You know that? That's human. That's human, isn't it? Some of them can turn out to be real fucking aggressive fuckers. You know, just real foul-mouthed aggressive. I just need something more to drink, John. No worries. What are you going to get into? Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to get into there. I've got some ice cubes. Yeah, it's not fucking bitch. Here we go. I I'm drinking. I'm going to have a little bit of a... I think I need a scotch and soda. Ah, fuck it. Fuck it, John. Scotch and soda. I'll just go scotch on the rocks. This was a yeah, very good bottle of scotch yeah, that uh, Stephen Brooks sent me. This is the 18-year-old one. I was going to drink some with that. No, 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 no. I was going to drink it with the Grants. You know, the Grants. Yeah. John, North tell me this. Was they live there. Yeah, that's beautiful stuff. That I, I only start, start on that, you know. It's... Uh... Cheers. Fuckers, cheers. Cheers, I'm gonna get myself a drink too. Mm. You bear me one second, will you? I'll go grab myself a, something myself. Sure, sure, bear sure. Bear sure, me one sure, second, sure, will you, please, sure, mate? Sure. The sucker horn has left the building to go and get a drink for himself. Archie's on the air, live talking to the fans. 
And uh, yeah, I think five, six isn't too bad from a dealer, but why don't you come back to me? I had one for three and a half. You didn't come to me then, Harley. Um, it's, um, yeah, I'm just trying to get some more. I'm trying to ch ch tune up the, the YouTube bit. I'm trying to get some more stuff happening here. They're just a bunch of cunts. Who you got in the gun? Who are you thinking of? No, oh, they're just cunts everywhere. I don't want to mention names. Cunts everywhere. <laughs> um, it's just cunts everywhere. John, I got to tell you, quality. This is a comment. Better quality, less quantity. Get rid of the one-minute intro on every video. Uh, I don't have a wife. Uh, ask people, ask people to say in the comments what video. Ah, uh, I don't fucking know. Talk more about watch. Ah, uh, fuck, fuck. I don't know what to say, John. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just, it's been, it's been, it's been a hard year. It's been a hard year. Oh, in ways you've been a few trips it. overseas and uh, you've done a bit of travel. I don't really. Debt. I don't like the hate. There's a lot of hate out there towards me. A lot of people hate me, and I'm not that successful. You know. Well, you know as well as I do. Unless you know, you've got haters, and unless you have, you, know, you don't have trolls. You, you haven't made it on YouTube. Yeah. I think someone was passing I comment, know you know, this, this is mild. You know, yeah, like, this is mild. I know what, what goes on on a, um, um, like my little bloke, he, he uh, watches the Minecraft videos. And some of those um, channels, they're only young, you know, young kids in their you know, early teens, some of them. You know, and they've got a million and a half subscribers and, you know, very popular channels. You know, that that Minecraft, the games, you know, games uh, which I, I'm not into by any stretch of the imagination. But uh, you know, that that's where the money is, and I, I think that that's what YouTube is uh, placing its emphasis to, isn't it? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Ah, oh, fuck it, John. John, I was disappointed. I wanted to do another tour with you. When do you want to go overseas again? Do you reckon we could get? No, no, we'll go over. This. We'll go over this year for sure. We'll go over this year for sure. I'd like to go back again, take my wife. Next year, next year, we're talking, John. Two thousand and seventeen. Yeah, next year, two thousand. week is Christmas, John. Next week is Christmas. Next week is Christmas. You know that? Yep, yep. Sunday week, tomorrow week. Yeah, I'll be having a a lonely Christmas at my old man's house. Yeah, righto. What's the old man doing for Christmas? You and him. We're going to sit down and have, have lunch together or something. Yeah. 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 Well, that'd be fun. Yeah. Get no, in a couple he... of strippers. Sorry? Get in a couple of strippers. Or something for Christmas lunch. I can't afford that, huh? Jono. I can't afford. Oh, I can't well. be wasting money on shit like that, Jono. Fool, this cigar is really going to me. What the hell's the problem? Should I give this cigar up now? I've still got a bit left to smoke. Smoke it slowly. Smoke it slowly. So, Jono, tell me this. What's your plans for next year? For next year? Yep. What's your big plans for next year? Good. I'd rather not say it at this stage and nail my feet to the floor on it. You know, like um. How is uh, how is John? Tell me this, Jono. You've you've had a good year on YouTube. You've been you've become a moderator on my channel. Ha, ha, has that helped moderating the comments? Are they nicer? Oh, it's not as as, as if they're nicer. I think you know, like um, the people who are inclined to uh, put up bad, you know, comments or derogatory comments or 
we're having a go at you. You know, is um, they come back under different identities. You know, possibly. Yes. Yes. And, and, and maybe the, they take the hint a little, and the, some of the comments are, you know, a little bit more civil. Actually, there's there's been a a recent appearance of a, an identity on your channel. Um, Mousy Plus, Mousy Pluto Prestige has been making some yeah, comments haven't, again. Haven't seen him for a while, have you? Um, no, but ironically, um, I uh, sent an email to that you know, that gentleman concerned uh, about a week ago, and three or four days later, um, um, we're getting comments you know, uh, from him, all well, under that name, anyway. Yeah. So. Um, they're very amusing. I think some of the blokes in the comments uh, here have you know, seen them and, you know, and marked those those comments from Mousy. Yeah, she is there. Remember Mousy? Yes, There's yes, Mousy. yes. You stop, 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 stop. Where's Mousy? There's Mousy, Mousy just here. I the dog yeah. chewed him up, John. Yeah, I got it back off the dog. Didn't have to get it off the kid. Get it off the little bike. He wanted it, so now I'm having that back. I'm putting that on the connection to the computer. Yeah. yeah, no, that's exactly I'm it, John. The mouse is there. Yeah, there he is, little beauty. Why can you I, still sell it? I don't know. I haven't been there. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Huh? They reckon there's a good lunch there. You get a cheap lunch there at IKEA. That'd be gross, wouldn't it? I can't think of anything worse, John. Their, their food yeah, is good. disgusting. If you're going to be fat, you may as well get fat eating crab claw. Yes, yes, yeah. It's, uh, I got to tell you, John, it's a very, very tough, very, very hard. It's been a, it's been a horribilious of a year for Archie. An Anna's hor horribilis. Horribilis. He, he invested in another channel that, that went very badly wrong. I got to be honest with you. I don't. I don't want to mention names now, but I got to tell you that really, it really hurts that I, I tried to someone and try an idea, and it fucking just bit me in the ass. And I don't want to. Let's not even talk about it, John. Let's move forward. John, moving forward. There, the Archie Luxury Channel. It's uh. It's been a train wreck, a constant train wreck, and uh, more travel reviews. I'm trying to get more travel. I want to go and travel more, John. Yes, they're, they're always, you know, well, yes, yes, it's great footage, you know, when you go overseas, you know, you, you get footage. But uh, what do you think of this latest things, John? We've got the Trumpster in the White House. Are you happy about that? Trump in the White House. And the other thing is, uh, Australia is going to, it, it was in the press, uh, we're going to ban the $100 note. What do you think of that idea, Jono? Well, where the hundreds you got on you? In your wallet? Two hundreds. You've got to go to, you know, like, they, the ATMs don't spit them out, do they? The ATMs only spit out 50s. No, that's yeah, exactly right. There, it's the the no, ATMs. Like, yeah, that's that's a fair point. Only spit out fifties, but um, you know, I, I personally prefer hundreds because it's you know less in you know less in your wallet. You no. Know? Yes. 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 Probably when I travel yeah. overseas, I prefer to take hundreds and you know than fifties. You know, easy to count and, you know, and easy to negotiate. Now, in, in, in Europe, they're banning cash payments of over a thousand euros. Oh, what? The government is banning cash payments of over a thousand euros. Oh. Now, I think they mean that. I don't understand this bullshit, do you? What happens when you go to the casino? What happens when you go to the casino? What do you got to write? What do you write a check or something? I don't know. Cross. What? What? 
some someone was saying I heard you know it's uh in Great Britain, you know, the you know, the, the British viewers here might be able to, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. They said that um you can't carry more than eight hundred pound on you. So what's that sixteen hundred bucks? What's that say that say that again? So I, I heard I, I might be wrong, you know, but uh, I heard that in Great yes. Britain that you, you can't um um eight hundred pound on you unless you have a receipt from the bank i think was the terminology you now a receipt from the bank that uh um you know where the money came from you know you know to to legitimate its origin just wouldn't you you just leave the receipt in your wallet you know pull out 10 grand put that in your wallet and say well yeah i've got 10 you know, you know pull that you know Someone saying, Mr. Watson saying, you know, the information I'm saying is not correct. Maybe, maybe, Mr. Um, and Mr. Lawrence, so I, I am wrong there. I am wrong. Well, that, that's good. It certainly shocked yeah. me. You know, you, know, you know, that statement that you, you couldn't carry more than eight hundred quid, but you know, it's good to know that I'm, I'm incorrect there. Yeah, I, I ho certainly hope so. There. It's. Uh... How much do you carry on you all the time? What about all the time? I don't, I don't, I've, I've, I look, I've been, I've been on a debt reduction plan, so I, I don't really carry much, John, do you? Yeah. I always carry some. Please. You know, see how much money I carry on me at any one time? I'll fucking show you, Jono. Let me show you. Let me show you, Jono. I'll show you how much I carry on me at any one time. Here you go. For coins, a tip for the paper boy. I always like to carry a grand on me, a grand in my wallet. You know, I'll have you know, three or four hundred in the Sly Kick account. You know, you know, I'll have you know, five hundred in a money belt somewhere. You know, I always got you know, five hundred in a belt somewhere. You know, in a money belt. You now we go out and put your money belt on. Even if you go to shove it in an ATM, but you know, like. You know, what do you do if you go down to the local market on a Sunday or something, a trash and treasure market? You know, there's no ATMs down there. And you want to buy something, you know, and you're 100 bucks short or something. You would always say, oh, I've got to go to the ATM. Look like mm. a fucking dickhead. You know? You know, like you wave cash under somebody's nose when you're, you're negotiating a transaction. And it's always, you know, a very good, you know, persuader, isn't it? Yes. John, John, you've got a, a very good existence there. You got a very tranquil life in suburban Melbourne. Yes, yes. Yeah. What's the weather like in Melbourne? My mum, to me, my mum said to me, she said, "What do you know?" She said, "Oh, you sure want me to do a bit of handiwork around you know her house?" A few things. She said, oh, you should do the job. You know, you could do a bit of carpentry or something, and you know, you're good with your hands. Said, what do I want to work for? I'm too old to be, you know, you know. Working or sell me soul to a boss, or oh, I'm gonna fuck. be fucked. Yeah, you know, like not at my age, not at 60. You know, hey, like, John, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go and put the cigar outside. I think I've had enough of it, John. Let me go and get rid of this. You just cover me for a minute. Yeah, you know, like, um, I used to remember when I worked, oh, you're selling your soul to a boss every day, and you're, you're looking at your clock, when am I going home, and you know, and I was, don't get me wrong, I had a very good job earning very good money. You know, but uh, <coughs> a bit of, oh, I couldn't imagine, you know, you know, going and listening to you know, and a boss telling you what to do, you know, every day, not not at my stage of life. It's different if you're a young bloke, you know, or you're, you're just starting off in life, or you're starting your own business, or you're, you're just starting employment. You're all going to learn, but, you know, you know, I couldn't be stuffed. I couldn't get a job anyway. I'm too old. You know, it'd give me a job. You know? you know, I couldn't get a job at you know, my age. You might probably do the job quite, you know, you know, satisfactorily, but, you know, you're over the hill at 40. You know, 35 is people do nowadays. You know, you're, you're, you're cannon fodder at, those, you know, at that age. You know, 35, 40. Well, I... We might have had a bit of drama. 
a big spit gentleman. No. Start a legal firm? God, please no. Now, what do you, why would you want to start a legal firm for? Sitting there and listen to everyone else, you know, worries and complaints every day of your life. No wonder they get paid good money. No. How are you feeling now? A bit better? <coughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's better. Oh, again, that's better. Yeah, getting get on this slightly, slightly cheaper stuff, okay? Oh, yeah, that'll come up well. That'll go down well. Lizard tuck. I'm going to have that with soda. If you don't. Sorry? Why do you lick the top of the bottle all the time so no one else will drink it? No, no, no. That's the drop. A drop of scotch. The drop, you know, when you pour it, you got a little bit of a drip there. I want to, I don't want to waste that, John. You know how much this shit costs in this fucking nanny state we live in? Glenn live it. Oh, what, 120? No, yeah, even the grants. I lick I everything. Mean, a $40 bottle of whiskey, isn't it? Which one's that? 40 bucks for me, Grant. Not even that. Yeah. That's a that's a one and a one point one two five liter. It's sixty dollar bottle, John. What duty free? Uh no, you get get two for fifty six dollars. Right, eh? right. John, it's been great talking to you. Um I'm gonna do another live show. We're gonna cut this one. Very good. Um, we're going to cut this one and we're going to come back in a couple minutes, okay? Good stuff. Thank you, John. Pleasure. <laughs>